Hey guys, it's me Rachel. Welcome to another taste test video. Today we will be tasting out another sample from the Twinings fruit selection selection. Again, at first I initially thought it was just going to be those singular teas on their own, just one per flavour, but nope. Look at all that. <laughs> Look at all that. Last time we have tried the raspberry, strawberry, and loganberry. I still have no idea what a loganberry is. But today we'll be tasting out the strawberry and mango tea. Ooh, there we go. Now you can see. I don't think I've ever tried strawberry and mango before. It's going to be a new combination. So it's going to be really rather interesting, I have to say. <laughs> um, Next time we will be trying out cranberry, raspberry and elderflower. It's quite a dark packaging but hopefully you can see it. Also another two flavours but we'll get that to them on a later date. And also a new PG Tips flavour which is nicely stored away later. But for now... First things first, I want to show you what the tea looks like. Personally, if you watched my last tea video, Twining's Tea, recently, I'm planning on putting these um, air on every week. So if you watched last week, you noticed that I did the Logan Berry one, I can't remember the whole name, but it looks like the exact same colour. So I'll stop the recording and then I'll show you the tea. So as you can see I'm in decent light lighting and the tea looks exactly the same as the previous one that I've tasted. It's a dark red rouge colour. This is what you'll get when you um, leave the strawberry and mango flavour. Well, I got my finger on the mic, sorry. <laughs> to um, marinate, that's the word, marinate for a while. Two to three minutes is the recommended time for this tea and the tea previously. So without further ado, let's go taste it out, shall we? So yes, what I normally do is I sniff the tea first. Let me hold it properly. <laughs> so let's just sniff the tea first. I'm not sure what flavours I'm getting. It's always tough to distinguish the exact, oh, the exact, oh, the exact flavours and scents from a tea. But if you leave it in probably long enough, you may get a stronger sniff or smell. I'll get my words out sooner or later. <laughs> but I definitely smell more of the herbal leaves than anything else. There is the fruity scents, but it's not as strong. You can somewhat smell the mango, but not as much as the strawberries as previous flavour. I can find it. Strawberry and raspberry. I think it was. I can't remember to save my life. Quite so can. The raspberry and strawberry and loganberry was a, had much more stronger scent of raspberry and strawberry. Unlike this one, it's really, really mild and weak. So you have to pretty much think about it when you drink it. The first things first, when we talk about drinking, we should test out the taste as well. So, bottoms up. Okay, because it's quite distinctive. I definitely taste more of the herbal leaves rather than the strawberry and mango. I tried to remember what the flavour was then. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
it's not strong. I think I've said that multiple times. It's not a strong flavour. So if you're expecting a strong flavour from this tea, then you won't get it. You will not definitely get it. It's definitely nice though. It is a definitely, definitely weak flavour. I am having extreme troubles trying to taste the strawberry and taste the mango. Um, let's read what it says on the back. An exotic, delicious, refreshing infusion. The sweet aroma taste of mango is balanced with a subtle hints of strawberry in this tropical inspiration infusion. Hmm. Oh, it's a spider outside. <laughs> um, I'm not getting the tropical vibe from this. If it's really tropical, then you would have more mango and more strawberry sensation in it. But no, I'm tasting more of the tea leaves. does need a distinctive palette to drink this sort of thing. I should finish off reading this before I put it away. With a rich yet refreshing taste, it has a satisfying rounded quality and naturally caffeine free with no added sugar. So you can enjoy it every time of the day. Any time of the day. And yes, I do agree with that. It's really nice, really calming. Like most teas I've been drinking, it's soothing and calming. Hmm. Yeah. Despite the lack of tastes I'm getting from this, I like it. I like it. I do. It, 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 it is in there. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely in there. But it's not strong. It's very, very weak. But that, 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 that's my taste buds. Yeah, um, if you're viewing this right now, drinking the exact same tea, then you may have a different taste to me. But this is more basically around my opinion and how I'm tasting it. Mm. But yeah, I will continue to drink this. I really do like it. I really do. And no doubt to be through time, I will definitely get the the strawberry and mango taste. <laughs> uh, I always soon enough get the. Let me put this down. Because <laughs> with every new item that I taste, I always end up not tasting the new flavour that I'm not familiar with. Um, first, I. Well, the most recent one I can remember is coconut water. I could not taste the flavour in it. Couldn't. There was no flavour to it. But then after a couple of tries of it, um, been quite a while since I had the coconut water, and I started to taste the coconut in it. And now, currently, this is going to sound weird. The coconut water I'm drinking now is starting to taste like <laughs> cornflakes that have been sitting in milk. For a few minutes, all dried up. Not exactly dry, just stog soggy. It's that soggy cornflake taste that I'm tasting in it now. It's not normal, is it? <laughs> no, that's what I'm tasting now. Um, even with a fresh bottle, that's what I'm tasting. It's weird. I don't know, no, no, definitely will change at some point. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Taste buds are, are strange, I know. Um. Yeah. Oops. That's today's flavour. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, something up there. By improvement to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, tea and coffee merchants, R Twinings and Co. 
Limited London. Hmm. And also, we suggest allow one bag per person and infuse for two to three minutes in freshly boiled water for a sweeter taste. Add honey. Oh, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> if I have honey, I might do that. Why not try it cold? Well, I've had more confidence in myself, I would. <laughs> Allow the infusion to cool before splashing over ice and drinking straight away. Add a slice of lime for a little zest. So I had lime, and if it didn't go off so quickly, then yes, I would. I've got any limes since they made my face go scrunchy. <laughs> but yeah, that's today's taste test video. If you really liked today's video, make sure you give it a like. If you really, really liked it, give it a favourite. Also, there's a subscribe button down below. It's time to stutter. I've got hiccups now. <laughs> oh. There's a subscribe button down below. It's currently red, as you can see. But if you click it, you will get free samples of the tea that I am tasting right now. <laughs> Don't delay. Click today. I'll talk to you later guys, hope you enjoyed, bye bye! Whoa.